All right. Here we are. Just got some gas. I'm gonna spow. Excuse me. I'm gonna. Our first video here. Let me get moving, and then we'll introduce. Right. So as you can see, we are in El Dorado Hills to the east of Sacramento, and we're about to do a little one of my favorite twisty routes here. Um, not heavy twists, but a good fun little ride. Um, I usually do this whenever I just need to get out and go on a good bike ride, get some good turns in, but I don't have time to do an all day um, ride where I might need to get back to Mia or um, have work to do or clients in the afternoon. So this is El Dorado Hills Boulevard, which is going to turn into um, Semin Falls, which then a, the northern portion of Highway 49, which is a great highway to ride along, and it's a popular one here in Sacramento with the motorcyclists. So we'll probably do a video later on doing um, Highway 99 from Auburn all the way to Placerville. So I know so I've hinted about it in the past that, you know, m project and whatnot, well, that I was up to, and this is it. Um, the goal I have is to ride a million motors motorcycle miles, so one million motorcycle miles. Yep, seven digits with a one in the beginning. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a few years. Um, a few is a little misnomer there. I've been thinking about doing this since I got a motorcycle in 2000 and, uh, gee, 2001 when I got my first motorcycle. So now 2017. So for the past 16 years, I've been contemplating this and just had it in the back of my head. But... I decided to consciously go for it and really uh, document the miles and have fun with it. And uh, those of y'all who know me, I love to travel and I love motorcycles and I love doing big rides. So why not put them all together and go for that million miles? Um, one of the things that really, sorry, one of the things that really kind of motivated me was there was uh, I just read an article about a woman who made million miles, documented miles throughout her years and she started in the 60s and I think she just finally made it in um, uh, 2000, somewhere around 2010, I, I can't remember the specifics right now, but I was like, you know what, it can't be done, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> so, um, Love that bike. It was a great bike to learn on, you know, light enough for someone with my 5152 frame can maneuver around. Um, inexpensive if I, you know, wrecked it or <laughs> injured it or dropped it or whatever. So that was nice. And it was just a really good motorcycle to cut my teeth on. Uh, rode it around for about a year. Um, all over Arizona, up from Phoenix, down to Tucson, uh, from Phoenix all the way up to the Grand Canyon, Sonoma, uh, the twisty roads up between uh, Phoenix and Greer, up to Sholo, so all the way around Arizona I rode that thing. Uh, when I finally traded it in for my first Harley, um, I believe I had somewhere around like 11 or 12,000 miles on it um, in one year. So. 
number down to 10,000 for document purposes of this. And then um, I went and I got my first motorcycle, baby. It was a 2300th anniversary edition Dyna Lowrider. Uh, black on black, not the black silver, but black on black. And I loved her to death. Uh, I bought her with 0.6 miles on her. And I finally sold her um, after, oh gee, 2003. Well, four or five years, I kept her until I couldn't financially afford her the payments anymore. And I sold her with about 43, 44,000 miles on her. And I, again, with her, even more riding all around Arizona, different bike rides, met a lot of different people on that bike, a lot of great memories, um, and a lot of pictures. So, uh, anybody who has pictures of uh, my time with any of those bikes, my Virago, if, uh, if anybody, <laughs> not a lot of pictures of that bike, um, and uh, baby, then please send them to me. Uh, I'm thinking about making a video, a little slide video of those first few miles. Um, so when I sold Baby in 2000 and, oh goodness, I really want these cars to get out of my way. <laughs> Can you get motorcyclists? Get out of the way, car! Um, when I sold Baby by Don Ilo Rider in 2007, uh, 2008, um, I made a promise to myself that I would have another motorcycle by the time I was 35. So I was 27, 28 at the time. And uh, I first met Lotus, which is the um, 2001 XL 1200C that I'm riding now, Sportster Custom um, Lotus. I first met her in 2015 when a friend of mine um, had two motorcycles that needed to be babysitted, needed to be ridden, because her and her wife were having a medical I'm problems, they just couldn't ride the motorcycle. So, unselfishly, okay, a little selfishly, I was like, I ah, babysit up. So I was finally able to get on a motorcycle after a long time, knocked the rust off, and I rode those two motorcycles. Um, the other one was a 750 um, Kawasaki Vulcan. Wonderfully comfortable bike. And uh, rode those guys around for a while. We just got off of El Dorado Hills Boulevard, and now we're getting in Salmon Falls Road. So we're about to get some good fun twisties going on in here. Watch out for motorcyclists. So yeah, babysitter the the Vulcan and uh, Lotus here um, for a few, well, you know, four, five, six months, and then my friend proposed to me to buy one of the motorcycles and I was like the Harley I'll take the Harley <laughs> so um, she kindly um, sold it to me and now she is mine and the offer was made one week before my 35th birthday so I kept my promise on a motorcycle by my 35th birthday and since then Lotus and I have been riding all around Central California. We even took a trip up um, Highway 5 up to Oregon, Ashland, Crater Lake, over the Bend, across the Cascade Mountains into Portland, uh, up into Washington a little bit, and then finally out to Tellamook Road, Highway 101 down. Beautiful cliff uh, road there. And got on Highway 101 till it attached up with Highway 1, rode that until we were parallel with Petaluma and then rode across Napa or Vineyard Roads to Petaluma and that was a great ride but since then I've been riding with a bunch of motorcycle groups here in California and um, just recently lost my other vehicle, my favorite uh, Jolene, my 1996 Bronco. And I was like, you know what? Life is short. Car accidents can happen so quickly. Might as well get on this million mile thing and just make it happen. So here we are. 
Um, I did up all the um, mileage, kind of get a good estimate of what I did. Oh, those Longhorns. Uh, mileage of the estimate that I've done over the past 17 years. And it's just under 89,000 miles on a motorcycle. So um, I have the exact number, which I'll probably post in the comments of what I'm starting with. And we'll just kind of document as we go on. Uh, granted, a majority of those miles will probably be commuting because all I have is Lotus right now. But um, yeah, there we go. So welcome. I hope you enjoy this journey with me. Um, it should lead to some very good times. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and it will be a nice adventure. Because, you know, life is an adventure. Take me to go hiking. Right along Folsom Lake. head right here. Trailhead to go hiking on to. Takes you all the way to the Folsom Lake down there for a good little dip in the water. And Simon Falls Bridge Trailhead. A little link up there. about the roads we're on, uh, how friendly they are for motorcyclists, um, probably do some motorcycle camping, so talk about campgrounds. <laughs> God, I love this. <laughs> um, yeah, just, you know, hopefully this will become a nice um, go-to source for female motorcyclists. Um, I'm putting it out there already that uh, I am a lesbian, so this will be a good LGBT source for um, female riders and male riders, too. Um, so that's my hope. That's my goal. Um, but it takes a village. Oh, motorcycle for sale. Ooh, nice little mini one. So, so far as you can see, this salmon road here is an awesome little road. 
on the uh, southeast northeast side of um, Folsom Lake. There's a bit of it right there. There we go, Salmon Bridge. Oh. We got some bungee jumpers. Nice little twisty area. Oops. Let's see, we got a couple water ramps right there. This one is great. Uh, every now and then in these twisties you will get gravel. So I wouldn't get too close to the um, shoulders here. Um, especially if the twist, the inside of the turn is near the shoulder. Uh, be careful of the gravel. Um, that's just from cars coming in out, especially if you have a big pull away like the one we just passed. Um, and also don't get too close to the medians, you know, common sense there. Um, cars coming around the bend, they don't always stay in the lane. All in all, this has just been a great ride. Beautiful Memorial Day 2017. Hats off to all those serving. Thank you much, including my brother, who's an officer in the Navy, and my grandfather, who fought in World War II. Hey, bye. And many friends of mine who are in the military have past served, so thank you all again for your service. Allowing me to be able to do things like this. You got it, dude. That's right. Get down deep. properties over here so you definitely get the ranch smell which reminds me of my home in Texas and also the dairy farms and Phoenix where I lived for a while one of the things I love about motorcycling is oh, bed and breakfast um, you're in nature while you're riding around you know, the speed and the wind in the hair, that's uh, so fun as well, but, you know, you feel the sun on your skin. You smell the flowers and nature as you go by. 
one, unless it's, you know, something strong like a skunk. You don't so much get that in a car. Yes, Lotus is a little lean. Working on getting some parts to get that fuel efficiency back up. But in the meantime, the uh, that engine braking, those little pops and backfires when the engine brakes is really handy to bring people's attention to me as I um, share lanes here in California, which you can do the law, it's legal to do that, lane splitting, as other people call it, alright, I call it that too, but, KC. to keep some distance between these cars so that in case they break suddenly they don't have to worry about it. and Phoenix uh, that northern person on there what's up copper a lot of shaded area all right highway 49 
for those of you who are thinking I'm not looking far enough to the right, Stormy, I'm looking at you. Um, I'm using a Cena 10C a Bluetooth video camera, and it's actually mounted uh, on the left of the helmet. So I am looking far enough to the right. It's just the mounting of the camera does not see that. Does not give a good example of it. hills and we are now in the little town of cool must be pretty cool to live in cool <laughs> oh so funny
to the Auburn parks at Auburn. It's a nice recreational area the city of Auburn put across. Wonderful hiking trails. Part of this goes through there. can see I'm not the only motorcyclist who likes this little route. It's fun. And that guy with the trailer is not used to having a trailer. look at that quarry. There was a quarry over here in Auburn, which is really gorgeous. But it's on my right, so I don't know how much you can see of it. If we get to a safe enough spot, I'll take a good exaggerated right look. Bridge. parking to go hiking. Usually there's going to be a traffic jam up here. A nice day. Yep. Come on, motorcycle is hiking. If I can get a good look. Look at that. 
be out on the weekend. Enjoying Auburn Park area. Come on. Nothing left to lose, and nothing not yet of me. And good was easy to hold when you 
that sang the blues Good enough for me You can see here as we get more towards Auburn and if like any twisty road if you get stuck behind a slow car kind of kills it for you but still fun enjoyed it Getting on the side of the road, or what's happening with him? Down that way is a wonderful burger spot, but we're not going to go there. It's a Tesla in front of me. Look at that. Get on the 80 and head home. Nice little ride. Needed to get that out. A little de stress. Probably shouldn't have had the carbonated beverage before I came. Note to self try not to burp on camera. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, any kind of feedback would be beneficial nice um, maybe some things you'd like to see in future videos things you'd not like to have in future videos um, and I hope you enjoy the journey I know I will so long